morning today we will talk about viral infections classification of human viruses it is classified into two types dna viruses and rna viruses some of the examples of dna viruses are herpes simplex virus varicella zoster virus human papilloma virus pox virus human herpes virus 6 7 8 8 epstein barr virus parvo virus and hepatitis b virus coming to the rna viruses examples are retrovirus toga virus flavi virus paramyxo virus hepatitis a hepatitis c and e picorna virus coming to the broad etiopathogenesis herpes simplex virus will cause cell lysis human papilloma virus and pox virus can cause cell proliferation and carcinogenesis it can also cause exanthemata viremia type 3 hypersensitivity reaction and virus is lodged in dermal capillaries and replicate in epidermis <laughs> persistent infection is seen in herpes simplex virus and varicella zoster virus coming to the classification of herpes virus it is classified into alpha herpes virus beta herpes virus and gamma herpes virus so some of the examples of alpha alpha herpes virus are herpes simplex virus 1 hhv1 hhv2 hhv3 hhv1 is human herpes virus 1 is herpes simplex virus 1 human herpes virus 2 is herpes simplex virus 2 human herpes virus 3 is varicella zoster virus these are all comes under alpha herpes virus beta herpes virus examples are cytomegalovirus human herpes virus 6 human herpes virus 7 examples of gamma herpes virus or epstein barr virus and human herpes virus 8 what are the common viral infections of the skin human papilloma virus can cause genital wart and non genital wart pox virus can cause molluscum contagiosum varicella zoster virus can cause varicella and herpes zoster herpes simplex virus 1 and 2 can cause herpes simplex infections and then viral exanthems coming to the human papilloma virus there are 80 types of human papilloma virus serotypes 1 to 80 anogenital warts are mainly caused by serotype 6 11 16 18 31 and 33 incubation period is few weeks to about 1 year transmission is direct skin to skin contact or indirect contact nail biters shavings occupational and swimming pool sexual transmission is for genital and perianal wart mainly caused by sexual transmission can also caused by auto inoculation clinical types non genital wart and genital wart among the non genital wart verruca vulgaris is the common type followed by verruca plana filiform wart digitate wart palmar plantar wart and periangual wart genital wart is called condyloma acuminata clinical features of verruca vulgaris are it is the commonest type of wart most commonly seen in children and young adults present as asymptomatic hyperkeratotic papular lesions with warty like projections common sites are extremities tarsum of hands and feet and kubner's phenomenon can be seen to the verruca plana it is also called juvenile wart or flat wart will present as discrete flat skin colored or pigmented papules which coalesce to form verrucous plaques it can also present as kubner's phenomenon most commonly involved sites are face neck and extremities filiform wart is finger like projection mainly seen over the face digitate wart is multiple finger like projections with common base most common sites are head face and neck into the palmar plantar wart 
will present as hyperkeratotic elevated or flat lesions painful on lateral pressure there are two types of permaplanar wart mosaic wart and vermicelli wart common differential diagnosis are corn and callosity going to the periangle wart most, most commonly associated with permaplanar warts is due to the invasion of nail bed it is recalcitrant to treatment into the genital wart so it's known as condyloma acuminata will present as protuberant moist cauliflower like growth most commonly involved sites are frenulum corona glandis glans penis in men and posterior fossae in women anogenital wart in children due to sexual or non sexual transmission into the bonoid papillosis will present as multiple group warty lesions on genitals is a pre malignant condition it can predispose to squamous cell carcinoma what are the complications secondary infection mainly with staphylococcus aureus and group a beta hemolytic streptococcal infections in pregnancy will cause proliferative growth obstruction of labor laryngeal papillomas in child what are the malignant changes it cause bushki lowenstein tumor it is called giant condyloma acuminata and cervical intraepithelial neoplasia mainly caused by human papilloma virus serotypes 16 and 18 investigation is mainly based on clinical diagnosis histology will present as histopathology will show papillomatosis acanthosis and inclusion bodies with vacuolated cells and electron micro microscopy can be done dna hybridization and immunohistochemistry coming to the treatment part the topical keratolytics are most commonly used most commonly used keratolytic is selactin paint it consists of salicylic acid lactic acid and urea then chemical cautery can be used with podophyllin or tca cryotherapy electro cautery radio surgery laser therapy mq mode pyfluorouracil bleomycin and interferon can also be given and bcg vaccine and mmr vaccine can be tried it is usually given once in two weeks for four to six weeks for a single lesion what are the systemic treatment for wart levomisole can be tried simetidin can be tried interferon and photodynamic therapy these are all act as immunomodulators coming to the molluscum contagiosum it is caused by pox virus molluscum contagiosum virus most common types are mcv1 and 2 incubation period 2 weeks to 6 months transmission is by direct skin to skin contact by fomites by sexual transmission hp bodies are most commonly seen in molluscum contagiosum it is called intracytoplasmic inclusion bodies in histopathology clinical features are will present as asymptomatic discrete dome shaped early white amplicated papules kubner's phenomenon can be present most common sites are face neck trunk and genitals and eyelids giant molluscum contagiosum can be seen in hiv patients then secondary infection is common molluscum contagiosum in hiv commonly on genitals perianal region and eyelids refractory molluscum on face disseminated lesions most uh, differential diagnosis are penicillosis cryptococcosis and histoplasmosis treatment expression and by curatage chemical cautery electrodesiccation cryotherapy and topical therapies include imiq mode 10% koh phenol cantharidin and sildenafil ointment systemic drugs can be tried are levomisole simetidin and zinc sulfate coming to the varicella zoster virus varicella zoster virus can cause chicken pox and herpes zoster coming to the varicella it is also known as chicken pox incubation period is 2 to 3 weeks transmission is by droplet infection and by direct skin to skin contact in adults it will be severity severe what is the clinical manifestation of varicella it will first starts over face and then extremities and trunk 
will present as macules then progress into papules and then multiple trans transient discrete vesicles or an erythematous base gives dewdrop appearance or rose petal appearance then it becomes pustules and then central crest and then leads to hypopigmentation and then scarring chicken pox and hiv can causes hemorrhagic vesicles recurrent lesions disseminated lesions and visceral involvement what is break breakthrough varicella it is a mild varicella like syndrome they will present as mild constitutional symptoms less number of lesions less than 60 lesions present as maculopapular rash less complications what are the complications of varicella secondary bacterial infection with streptococcus aureus and streptococcus pyogenes can lead to cellulitis necrotizing fasciitis and gangrene can also cause aseptic meningitis encephalitis transverse myelitis transient focal deficit and hemiplegia over the eye can cause acute retinal necrosis syndrome lungs it will cause pneumonia liver it can cause hepatitis and then thrombocytopenic purpura disseminated intravascular coagulation purpura fulminans stevens johnson syndrome toxic epidermal necrolysis rhabdomyolysis arthritis congenital varicella syndrome varicella gangrene or varicella gangrenosa coming to the treatment part do rest antibiotics anti inflammatory and calamine lotion indications of oral acyclovir are patient should more than 12 years of age cardiopulmonary disorder patient is on steroids patient is on chronic salicylates we have to give acyclovir within 48 hours of the start of the lesion dose is 800 mg 5 times a day for 5 to 7 days as per the body weight oral acyclovir can be given as 20 mg per kg whereas intravenous acyclovir 10 mg per kg other drugs are valacyclovir 1 g 3 times a day for 5 to 7 days can be given what are the prophylaxis vaccines are available it's called oka strain of live attenuated varicella zoster vaccine for less than 12 years there are two doses first dose should be given between 12 to 15 months of age second dose should be given at 4 to 6 years for more than 12 years two doses at 4 to 6 weeks apart varicella zoster immunoglobulin also available it should be given within 96 hours of exposure neonates whose mothers develop varicella within the period from 7 days before and 7 days after delivery healthy neonates in contact with active varicella or zoster and immunocompromised children and adults coming to the herpes zoster it is also known as shingles it is nothing but segmental eruption due to reactivation of latent varicella zoster virus from sensory ganglia or dorsal root ganglia most commonly involved dermatomes are thoracic dermatome followed by cervical dermatome then ophthalmic division of trigeminal nerve and then lumbosacral what are the clinical features to present as prodromal symptoms fever sore throat throat pain myalgia headache etc then followed there are to present as pain there are four types of pain burning sensation throbbing pain stabbing pain and allodynia then what is zoster sign herpet presence of pain without any skin lesion is called zoster sign herpet most commonly involved dermatomes are thoracic dermatome usually involves single dermatome or two dermatomal involvement herpes zoster is associated with lymphadenopathy what are the lesions of herpes zoster it will start as erythematous papules then it becomes grouped vesicles or an erythematous space then it become pustules and heals with scar hypopigmentation or hyperpigmentation in immunocompromised individuals it will present as hemorrhagic vesicles hyperkeratotic lesions ectematic lesions multiple dermatomal involvement disseminated lesions visceral involvement severe and recurrent recurrent cases what are the complications of herpes zoster 
secondary infection with Staphylococcus aureus and Staphylococcus pyogenes, post herpetic neuralgia, Ramsey Ann syndrome, or herpes zoster oticus, herpes zoster ophthalmicus, aseptic meningitis, encephalitis, transverse myelitis, Bullen Barry syndrome, motor paralysis, cerebellar ataxia, pneumonitis, hepatitis, urinary retention, constipation, impotence, phantom hernia, acute retinal necrosis syndrome. So the herpes zoster in HIV seen in younger patient, severe pre herpetic and post herpetic neuralgia, multidermatomal involvement, cranial nerve involvement, hemorrhagic lesions, disseminated lesions, protracted course and with verpose lesions, and acute retinal necrosis is common. Into the Coming to the post herpetic neuralgia, it is persistence of pain for more than one month after the disappearance of rash. If it is involving trigeminal nerve, an ophthalmic division of trigeminal nerve, it is present as vesicles on tip and side of the nose. It is called Hutchinson's sign. It is due to nasociliar nerve involvement. Then conjunctival edema. Conjunctivitis, keratitis, scleritis, uveitis, and acute retinal necrosis. In the maxillary division of trigeminal involvement, vesicles will be seen on uvula and tonsil. It is involving mandibular division of trigeminal nerve. Vesicles are seen on anterior part of tongue, floor of mouth, and buccal mucosa. What is herpes zoster articus? Herpes zoster involving geniculate ganglion of facial nerve will present as ipsilateral facial palsy, ear pain, vesicles on external artery canal and pinna, impacts taste sensation from anterior two third of tongue. Coming to the treatment of herpes zoster, mostly symptomatic cases, you have to give antiviral therapy. Acyclovir 800 milligram five times a day for five to seven days. Pelacyclovir one gram three times a day for five to seven days. For steroids are indicated only for cranial nerve involvement. Coming to the treatment of post herpetic neuralgia, first we have to give cold compress, calamine lotion. Acyclovir 800 milligram five times a day for five to seven days. Paracyclovir one gram three times a day for five to seven days. For post herpetic neuralgia, we have to give topical capsaicin gel 0.025 percentage, topical lidocaine gel 2 percentage, then non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs NSAIDs like paracetamol, ibuprofen, acyclofenac can be given. And then antidepressants like omitriptyline 25 mg, imipramine 25 mg. Then Phenytoin 100 mg 3 times a day, carbamazepine 200 mg 3 times a day, then sodium alprovate 200 mg 3 times a day can be given. Then pirigabalin 75 mg, carbapentin 300 mg. For resistant cases, you can give opiate analgesics, tramadol 50 mg HS, morphine 5 to 50 mg IVBD. Intrathecal methylprednisolone can be tried once weekly, 500 mg for 
one time once weekly for four weeks can be given. For severe cases, we can give epidural block, intracostal nerve block, stellate ganglion block, spinal cord stimulation and peripheral nerve stimulation. Coming to the herpes simplex virus, herpes simplex virus 1 and 2, herpes simplex virus 1 can cause lesions over the face, mainly over the above waist lesions. Whereas herpes simplex virus 2 can cause genital lesion. What are the clinical manifestations of herpes simplex virus? Herpetic gingival stomatitis, herpes labialis, herpes genitalis, eczema herpeticum, herpetic vitlo, herpes gladiatorum, ocular herpes, neonatal herpes, herpetic psychosis. We present as grouped vesicles on an erythematous base, followed by erosions and healing. Primary attack is seen is primary attack is severe associated with the lymphadenopathy and the systemic complications. Whereas recurrent attacks are mild and with shortened clinical course. For recurrent infections, the predisposing factors are trauma, stress, surgery, exposure to sunlight, heat and cold, menstruation, sexual intercourse, infection, immunosuppressions, HIV malignancy, steroids, then dermatological conditions like atopic dermatitis, pemphigus vulgaris, bullous pemphigoid, haley disease, the surgical procedures like derm aberration, laser resurfacing can be a triggering factor. What are the differential types? What is the transmission? Mode of transmission is direct contact, droplet infection, sexual intercourse and auto inoculation what is the histopathology of herpes simplex virus ballooning and reticular degeneration of keratinocytes intracellular and intercellular edema intranuclear inclusion bodies due to degeneration of nuclear chromatin multinucleated giant cells spongiosis dense infiltration of lymphocytes neutrophils and eosinophils in dermis coming to the herpetic gingival stomatitis will present as fever, malice, myalgia, arthralgia, headache, anorexia, pain and burning sensation associated with dysphagia, odinophagia, excessive dribbling of saliva, cervical lymphadenopathy, or occipital lymphadenopathy, pharyngitis and drinking and eating are painful. will present as multiple transient grouped vesicles on an erythematous base over tongue, pharynx and buccal mucosa can lead to painful superficial ulcer with yellowish pseudomembranes, deals without any sequelae. Coming to the herpes labialis, will present as multiple transient grouped vesicles on an erythematous base over vermilion border of lips. It leads to superficial erosions, crusted plaques and heals without any sequelae. Coming to the herpes genitalis, it is caused by herpes simplex virus type 2. It will present as multiple transient grouped vesicles on an erythematous base over Prepuce, shaft of penis and glans penis in males and labia minora and forcia in females can lead to painful superficial ulcers with the polycyclic margins, it heals without any sequelae, it is associated with tender inguinal lymphadenopathy. With their eczema herpeticum or Kaposi's variceliform eruption, it is nothing but widespread vesicular eruption caused by herpes simplex virus in a patient with pre-existing skin lesions. What are the pre-existing skin lesions can predispose to eczema herpeticum? Atopic dermatitis, allergic contact dermatitis, irritant contact dermatitis, psoriasis, pityriasis rubra pilaris, pemphigus foliaceus, haley disease, Darrier's disease, ichthyosis vulgaris, burns, drug eruptions, derm aberration and laser resurfacing. It presents with severe constitutional symptoms followed by multiple vesicles and pustules, crust and heals with minimal scarring. What is herpetic vitlow? Painful vesicles with erythema and edema on distal pulp of fingers. In children, it is caused by sucking the finger during primary gingival stomatitis in adults, usually genital contact. Healthcare professionals, exposure of fingers to active oral or genital lesions while examination can cause herpetic vitlow. What is herpetic gladiatorum? Vesicles over face, ears, neck.
neck and arms is transmitted by direct skin to skin contact this herpetic psychosis herpes simplex virus in beards in hair follicle region what is ocular herpes it will present as severe purulent keratoconjunctivitis dendritic ulcers and uveitis going to the neonatal herpes it is severe and fatal herpes simplex virus 2 is most commonly caused followed by herpes simplex virus 1 affects skin eye and mouth it will cause cns disease and disseminated infections what are the complications aseptic meningitis encephalitis radiculopathy urinary retention constipation impotence recurrent urticaria erythema multiforme lymphedema and hepatitis coming to the investigations we have to do zang smear show multinucleated giant cells histopathology will have ballooning and reticular degeneration of teratinocytes inclusion bodies and intraepithelial blisters then herpes simplex virus antibody titer igg and igm viral culture immunofluorescence polymerase chain reaction and electron microscopy treatment Topical treatment includes acyclovir, pencyclovir, and cidofovir. Treatment is classified into primary and recurrent and suppressive treatment. Primary herpes simplex virus treatment is acyclovir 400 milligram three times a day for seven days. Valacyclovir 500 milligram two times a day for seven to ten days. Famcyclovir 250 milligram two times a day for seven to ten days. For recurrent cases, we have to give the same regimen. Acyclovir 400 mg 3 times a day for 5 days. Valacyclovir 500 mg 2 times a day for 5 days. Famcyclovir 250 mg 2 times a day for 5 days. For suppressive therapy, Acyclovir 400 mg 2 times a day for minimum of 6 months and the maximum we can give up to 2 years. Valacyclovir 1 gram OD for 6 months to 2 years. Famcyclovir 250 mg BD for 6 months to 2 years. For resistant and recurrent cases, we can give Foscarnet 40 mg per kg, IVQ 8 hourly for 2 to 3 weeks for acyclovir resistant cases. Acyclovir 5% cream can, is available 5 times a day for 5 days. Pensiclovir 1% cream, second hourly for 4 days. Pseudofovir 1% cream, 2 6 hourly for 2 to 3 weeks. Coming to the viral exanthems, macular eruptions are caused by rubella, Epstein-Barr virus, human herpes virus 6, human herpes virus 7. Macular papillary lesions are caused by Toga virus, measles, Paro virus B19. Macular papillary or vesicular lesions are caused by Coxsackie virus A and Echo virus. Macular papillary petechial lesions are caused by chikungunya and Bunia virus hemorrhagic fever. Articular lesions are caused by Coxsackie virus A19 and hepatitis B. Uncommon viral infections of the skin are pox virus can cause cowpox, cough, or milker's nodule. Epstein Barr virus can cause infectious mononucleosis, genotic Rossi syndrome, oral airy leukoplakia, genital ulcer or lepusis ulcer, hydroia vacciniformi, severe hypersensitivity reaction to mosquito bites. Lymphadenitis or Kikusha disease, nasopharyngeal carcinoma, gastric carcinoma, endemic Burkitt's lymphoma, Hodgkin's lymphoma, hemophagocytic lymphohistiocytosis, erythema nodosum, erythema multiforme, erythema annularis centrifugum, urticaria, linear IgA disease, and pityriasis lichenoids chronica. Infectious mononucleosis, what is the triad? Fever, pharyngitis, or tonsillitis with cervical lymphadenopathy. to the cytomegalovirus what are the diseases caused by cytomegalovirus in immunocompetent host mononucleosis like syndrome can occur it will present as maclopapilla rash marbuliform rash petechiae purpura urticaria erythema nodosum ampicillin induced eruption congenital infections blueberry muffin lesions petechiae purpura and vesicles in immunocompromised host 
will cause maculopapular rash or marble lip form rash, petechiae, purpura, cutaneous vasculitis, ulcers, vesicles, verrucous plaques, hyperpigmented plaques, and nodules. Complications are hemolytic anemia, thrombocytopenia, meningoencephalitis, Cullen-Barry syndrome, myocarditis, intestinal interstitial pneumonia, hepatitis, arthritis, dress, drug reaction with eosinophilia and systemic symptoms, genetic Rossi syndrome, papular purpuric Lawson Sox syndrome, erythema multiforme. Picorna virus can cause herpangina, hand, foot, and mouth disease. Foxaki virus can cause hand, foot, and mouth disease. What are the viral insect born and hemorrhagic fevers? It's caused by Toga virus, Flavio virus, Arena virus, Flo virus, and Punia virus. Mainly causes chikungunya fever, dengue fever, Hesnur forest disease, and Lassa disease. Coming to the summary. Varicella or chicken pox is caused by varicella zoster virus will present as multiple transient discrete vesicles on an erythematous base, gives dewdrop appearance or rose petal appearance over the face, extremities and trunk. Most common complication is secondary bacterial infection with Staphylococcus aureus and Streptococcus pyogenes. Treatment is acyclovir 800 mg 5 times a day for 5 to 7 days or valaciclavir 1 gram 3 times a day for 5 to 7 days. Herpes zoster is segmental eruption due to reactivation of latent varicella zoster virus from dorsal root ganglia or sensory ganglia. It will present as grouped vesicles on an erythematous base involving single dermatomal involvement not crossing the midline. Usually affects thoracic dermatome followed by cervical ophthalmic division of trigeminal nerve and lumbosacral region. Complication, most common complication is post-herpetic neuralgia followed by secondary bacterial infection with Staphylococcus aureus and Streptococcus pyogenes. It can also cause Ramsey and syndrome, also known as herpes zoster oticus and herpes zoster ophthalmicus. Herpes zoster oticus is genic uh, ipsilateral facial palsy, ear pain, Vesicles and external auditory canal and pinna and impairs taste sensation from anterior to third of tongue. Post herpetic neuralgia is persistence of pain for more than one month after the disappearance of the rash. Treatment includes acyclovir, tablet acyclovir, 800 mg, 5 times a day for 5 to 7 days, valus, tablet valacyclovir, 1 gram, 3 times a day for 5 to 7 days. For post herpetic neuralgia, NSAID is amitriptyline 25 mg, mipramine 25 mg, penitine 100 mg TDS, carbamazepine 200 mg TDS, sodium alprovate 200 mg TDS, pregabalin 75 mg BD, carbapentin 300 mg TDS, tramadol 50 mg HS, intrathecal methylprednisolone once weekly can be tried for 4 weeks. Dose is 500 mg to 1 grams. Thank you.